We are less than 48 hours from knowing if garbage will be picked up in the city of Jackson after a second hearing tonight. Still no answers. 12 News' Anna Ferris joins us now in studio with a breakdown of what happened. Anna. Well, Byron, Judge Dickinson says a major issue at hand. Is there even a legal binding contract in place for garbage collection come Friday? Now, arguments were heard once again from the mayor, city council, waste management, Richard's disposals attorneys, and even the city attorney. And it was a response to the complaint that the mayor filed asking the judge who has the right to issue an emergency contract. But tonight, Judge Dickinson says that isn't the issue at hand. He is questioning the process of how a contract with Richard's disposal came to be. Mayor Lumumba issued a one-year emergency contract to Richard's disposal without the council's approval, so he's deciding whether there is a binding contract. Now is the time I am trying to address the issue before me raised by the mayor uh, and the response of the council so that that, uh, because I believe the mayor's entitled to relief on what he's asked for and, and expeditiously. And then if it needs to go further, then we'll, we'll look at it at that time. I do want to add this is a one year contract for $9.6 million. And in order to issue a contract in the first place, it had to get the mayor had to get approval by city council. In previous meetings, council voted Richards down twice. If it is found to be no contract in place, there won't be garbage collection Friday by Richards' disposal, and it could cost the city. Thousands. Now, tomorrow, both parties will be back in court at 9.30 a.m. I will be in the courtroom, and this hearing is for the lawsuit that the mayor filed against council members for not properly transcribing the minutes. For 12 News, I'm Inna Farish. Melanie, back to you.